My favorite skater came with pizza, yeah, man. Yeah. Gracias, huh? Thank you. That's a, that's a, Maybe we should interview him. I mean, yeah, I don't know, man. Sure, next time. A little sure. bit more interesting, I think. Hey, now, now it's working, you know. It's thanks for pizza. coming. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, thanks for coming to the yeah, pizza thank night. You. Yeah, pepperoni, you pepperoni dude, pepperoni. Yeah. Con Okay, guys. Okay, respect the pizza. <laughs> respect. Yeah, respect. Respect the plaza, respect yeah. the pizza, huh? Yo, I'm pretty nervous right now because I just know who you are and we wait here waiting to do this thing and I don't know, I'm pretty impressed about what I hear about you. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay here. It's having some pizza. It's it's a it's a lot story. less interesting um, than what you think. No, I'm joking. No. Probably it is. <laughs> so, what are you doing here in Barcelona? What time do um, you over here? Yeah, so right now, uh, I just came from Thailand. Basically, mm -hmm. I came to um, to finish a project. Okay. So I have like a project that it's, uh, it's like the last 25 years of filming. Um, like Your from, last 25 years? Yeah, like, yeah, like uh, stuff from 4 and one from videos mm -hmm. that I filmed for, where there's like, I don't know, uh, the firm videos, uh, you know, stuff in like Habitat or, you know, just all the videos in, in like 25 years, years of fit. Yeah, so wow. the idea is to have like certain things from the last 25 years mm -hmm. um, and then having uh, um, some new stuff to kind of like, you know, kind of wow. compare and contrast, you know, okay. so like um, I spent a lot of time filming in Barcelona. There's a lot yeah. of footage here, so I wanted to get maybe some new tricks at old spots okay. or maybe um, a trick that matches an old trick at a new spot. Um, yeah. And it's really, it's really an excuse to come to uh, to Spain, to Barcelona. Uh, yeah. yeah, but Anthony, how long it's gonna be? Twenty five years of I mean, filming. Dude, I have so much footage. Like <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like no, it's that's, like that's crazy. Uh, like so much stuff. I mean, yeah, but on, we, well, like, well th I mean, the the rational behind it is to have like just like stuff that really means like something to me, or like you know like a trick that really meant like meant something in skateboarding, and then um you know uh like condense everything you know what I mean like obviously you can't have like 25 years yeah. of filming but there's there's certain like kind of important tricks that not maybe not even necessarily like mm -hmm. amazing tricks that were like you know like that meant something but like for me and the skater meant something too mm -hmm. so you yeah. know like you know so kind of like less is more how many skaters I mean, in that in that time, there's like hundreds. You know what I mean? Like I filmed yeah. with hundreds of skaters. Um, you know, uh, some some people like Javi. Um, yeah. You know, Rodrigo TX, uh, like Uyghur. Um, mm -hmm. Some of the some of those kids I've known since they you know were first got sponsored or first started you know uh, filming. You know, yeah. let's say from then to now. And then some guys that just kind of like came in and out. Um, you know, there's there's some guys like uh, like Stefan Janowski um, who might you know like maybe I filmed with him like. You know, at the very beginning, yeah. you know what I mean, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's, You're doing it's a whole the same bunch of thing, stuff. Like here in Barcelona, staying like I don't know how long you stay in, but a few like, like yeah few months or whatever. You're doing the same thing, like maybe in LA, you know, like, ASF I mean, or whatever. to be honest, to be honest, um, Barcelona is kind of like the linchpin, like uh -huh. what's like really bringing everything together. And um, and then I think I'm going to go to Brazil after this. Okay. Uh, but it's mostly. Kind of Barcelona is the place that's going to tie everything together. So it's not going to be. Hey. I'm not going to spend another 25 years going yeah. to all these other places. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hear you know. that you put uh, Barcelona on the map. That you discovered Magpa. Well, I hear. I, mean, so I hear it and I, and I read about before, it. Before so. the first time I came to to Barcelona, Magpa was a McDonald's. That's not. That's not true. That's not true at all. I mean, I'm, I was just. I was just like you know, like a skater. I was a filmer. Um, I actually meant. I met. Uh, um, I went to Belgium. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the really. So, if you want to hear the story, like yeah, I, I, I went, to, I went to Belgium. What uh, year? This is like ninety eight or ninety nine. Ninety nine, ninety eight. Yeah, ninety eight, ninety nine. I went uh, with Joe Brook. Um, okay, he was yeah. shooting for Slap. I was shooting for Four and One, mm -hmm. and um, we we filmed with like um, you know a bunch of skaters in Belgium. One of them was uh, Quentin, yeah. uh, Quentin Debris, yeah. right? Um, and uh, you know we filmed with. He was like uh, one of the sponsored, one of the best skaters in Belgium, and then he was like, hey man, um, you know like. You know, we're like, yeah, let's skate, like, these days, whatever. I'm like, you know, what are you doing, like, tomorrow, whatever. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm moving. And I was like, all right, well, wh where are you going? You know, like, and he's like, I'm moving to Barcelona. I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, man, my uncle lives in Barcelona. I went to visit him, and there's a spot on every corner. It's, like, the, it's like amazing. It's, like, the best city for skateboarding. Um, and then, you know, me and, me and Joe Brooke, we were in Belgium, and, like, our plan was, like, Belgium, Holland, um, you know, Germany for the contests, uh, you know, go to Paris. That was, like, our, our, our thing, you know? We had, like, Eurorail passes. And then, um, you know, uh, Quentin was like, you, ha you know, you have to go to Barcelona. It's, like, the best city. And then we just looked at each other, and we're like, well, I mean, we could. We have Eurorail passes. We, we don't really have any set, so maybe we should go to Paris, and after Paris, we'd go to Barcelona. And um, 
prior to that, like my grandfather was born in Barcelona. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm Filipino, oh. um, and there's a there's a huge Filipino community here. Yeah. And um, that, mm, I see your your last name. Yeah, yeah. It's a Spanish <coughs> last name. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is like the biggest uh, Filipino community. One of the biggest in outside, Spain. outside in of Spain. Philippines. I mean, yeah, yeah, Spain yeah, for, for sure, sure yeah. is the first. <coughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy. So my my last name is is Claraval. My mom's last name is Orkiola. Orkiola is like from the Basque country, mm -hmm, yeah. and um, so like that's yeah, you know, I mean, Spain, uh, Spain <laughs> was. You uh, have a really well, the Fili yeah, the Philippines was a colony, way. was a Spanish yeah. colony for 380 years, right? So um, there's a lot of Spanish blood, a lot of Spanish names mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. So my grandfather was born in Barcelona, went back to the Philippines, and his whole life he wanted to come back to Barcelona. He never did. So you know, when he passed away in his 80s. Um, you know, it was, it was like kind of like an uh, ideal, a dream, you know, like yeah, he's always like Barcelona. Yeah, connection. I mean, he's like his favorite yeah. food was arroz a la cubana, like lentejas, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he, he, he loved everything. He, he really, he, he always wanted to come back to Barcelona. So um, it's, it's I never pretty, thought it's about it. It's pretty real to hear yeah. some, somebody from New York talking about, talking about lentejas. Yeah, you, you, know, it was, you know, it's like something he, I mean, obviously like, you know, he grew up here until he was six, then he left. So his idea was obviously romanticized of what Spain was or whatever. It was his childhood, it was everything. So, um, you know, for me, um, and then my grandfather, my, then my father would come to Spain like for business and stuff. So I never really, th it was always something in our family, but I never thought I would come, you know what I mean? And then, um, so I, we came um, that summer, like 98 or 99. And um, and you know it was it was amazing. We didn't know anything, you know. Like yeah. so, it was like me. It was it's me. And, yeah. To you, hey, yeah, yeah. You come here, so like. So me and me and Joe Brook, um, we we had like a, we had a crew with us, some skaters. Like it was like like uh, Rob G. Um, you know, we had um, I mean I want to say Danny Montoya, um, a few other skaters, like some some dudes we just met in like mm -hmm. England. You know, like so it was kind of like a loose group of about maybe like eight people. Mm -hmm. And we, we arrived at, at Sans. We took a train from mm -hmm. uh, Paris to Sans. We arrived at Sans and then we just looked like a hostel and like they had, you know, a hostel was yeah. close to here. We took the train, we got, a, uh, got off at Plaza Catalunya. We walked to the hostel. We didn't know anything, you know. Yeah. Um, I'd seen a, uh, some zero footage. Mm -hmm. So Jamie had been yeah. here. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he came here. Um, he skated the four blocks. He, um, you know, I know like um, Sam Rubio, yeah. um, Bobby. Yeah. You know, there yeah, was like Sam Rubio back in the days was skating Bobby. for zero. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So there was there were some there, some skaters that I'd known and I'd seen footage of. Um, Sam Rubio, um, one of my favorite photographers today, yeah. amazing. But the dude was fucking animal, like yeah, a, a, a super, really super gnarly crazy skater. Part. Yeah, like super crazy amazing part, yeah. skateboarder. Um, and so you know, like that was like kind of the, one of the first people that I I knew of in in Barcelona. Um, so we just skated, you know what I mean? We, yeah. So we stayed, we stayed uh, like really close to here at a hostel. Um, you know, we went, we went to Makba. Um, Makba was like just the four. Like the ledges weren't even grinded. They were too square. Yeah. You couldn't even, hey, yeah, you, you, you couldn't, 98, 98 right? yeah, 98, 99. Um, like the kind of the scene was really Sans. Mm -hmm. So like there I met like, I mean like my, the first time I went to Sans, like Raul um, Navarro was like, he blew me away. He was like the most amazing skater, you know, like did the craziest tricks. Um, I was like tripping. I was like, "Why is this dude not like sponsored like you pro America?" Raul Navarro, yeah. Raul yeah. 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 Navarro is from he's from, from, from Okay, town. okay. Yeah. El Prat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so Raul was like my first like favorite Spanish skater. Like I was like wow. amazed. He was yeah. insane. Yeah. Um, but I mean, there. Big up to Raul. <laughs> but um, and then and now, you know, you know? and uh, and then um, I mean, dude, like I mean, fucking Julio. I know from from those days in Sans, yeah. Chele, um, fucking uh, you know, Marco. Um, yeah. You know, like, so um, just came to Barcelona just to check it out as a filmer uh, with some dudes just to check it out. And, and you know, that's kind of where it was. It was really like nobody skated Magba, right? Um, There's a crew that skated Sans, only Sans. There was some guys that skated Uni, only Uni. Um, you know, there was like, I mean, there was amazing skaters like yeah, Raul Retamal. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, so yeah. so many dudes I, that were ripping. Uh, you've been talking about like your first trip to Barcelona yeah, was yeah. kind of unexpected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, what you're talking about, you, what's amazing about like sports, people. Yes, I mean, like, like it was, it was, it was fucked. Um, you know, we didn't know anything. So everything was, when we got to Sans, mm -hmm. they had free Metro map. Right. Yeah. So like, yeah. okay, you go to any any subway station or like you know, usually the tourist one. Yeah, it was a it was like a it was a metro. It was like paper map. Yeah. So um, what I did was like, okay, I got the map. I got a couple of them, and then we would just circle like spots. So it's mm -hmm. like, okay, um, 
you know, we would we'd be like, we take, we take uh, the train, you know, we take the blue line, you know, yeah. we, okay, we go to the end and we kind of work our way in. That's and it. so we get, we go on the blue line and then we, we go to, I don't know, Villa Piscina yeah, and be like, okay, yeah, yeah, Villa Piscina, down, there's a fucking, yeah. we found like a mani pad, like downhill. So yeah. Yeah, like we put like, like down yeah, the downhill, downhill mani pad, yeah. Villa Piscina. Oh, and then, and then I would copy the map crazy. and then I would like, you know, had, had homies come like, you know, like had homies come from Holland and like whatever. And they're like, they're like, yeah, do you know, do you know like spots? I was like, yeah, like, you know, I gave him a copy of the map. And then <laughs> that was kind of like yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, actually don't have any, any like. Yeah, there was like, there's there no internet. Nothing, no, yeah, there was like, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. 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 And it was a little bit different too. Like, I mean, like, you know, like Raval was fucked. Was yeah, super yeah. gnarly, like super crazy. Yeah. There was a really good streak out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was good spots, but it was like it was really dangerous. Yeah, it was really, it was really, yeah. Yes. You, you gotta, gotta yeah. You gotta watch your yeah. shit. So it was a little bit of like, um, you know, really different. I mean, Barcelona then to now. I mean, it was the peseta. You know what I mean? It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah. yeah. Nobody spoke English. You know what I mean? I had to learn the little bit of Spanish I learned is so I could eat and just get around. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It was not tourists. Like, no, there was, there was tourists, but it was like it was like weird. It was like a, you know kind of like families. You know what I mean? That kind of tourists, and they stayed in a certain like place. Like people would be like you know on Las Ramblas, but they would never be in Raval. You know what yeah. I mean? Like Marco yeah. was kind of like far. Yeah. Marco was like kind of like far away. Actually, you know like I mean? back in the days, like when. Was not like a skate scene at Magba, it was like pretty sketchy. Mm -hmm. And then when skaters start coming, when the first guy was 20, mm -hmm. and was like all the like sketchy guys around there, it was like, yeah, hey, guys, just get out of here. You know, yeah. This is our concern, like to, to rope and you know, like, yeah, like shit like that. And they got all those yeah. guys, you know, and yeah. like, you know, like, I've been talking to the guys at the museum, say, like, yeah. Before skaters was like fucked up. Was fucked up. Was and then skaters. after skaters, yes, it's fucked up. No, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up. But, <laughs> it was, but, it was a, but it was a big contribution to this area. Yeah. Skateboard yeah. scene, everybody knows that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a good relationship. I mean, I mean, I'll tell you, dude. I'll, I'll be like really honest. I mean, Makba is probably the the lone surviving like real like like one? like like, one like longest, yeah. yeah i mean but all i mean like that's still, still you can still you, i mean you can still yeah. go there i mean maybe you can skate jaquan i guess in la but yeah, it's kind of like, fucked yeah, but i mean down, yeah but down, dude, yeah. but i mean Markba is is it's amazing you know what yeah, i mean i tell like, everyone i tell every, all the kids like you know like i sponsor a lot of kids or, or like whatever through you know like my you know i work for uh, like a shoe company and everything but like i always tell these dude you have to come to to, to barcelona yeah, you have to go like to barcelona you have to more skate, than a skate you know? spot yeah yeah it's for like sure. a lot of shit happening over there yeah. it's like i don't know artists just it's, i don't know it's real, real yeah. just seeing people like yeah, yeah. Ama amazing like how big skaters come here spots so yes. big up big up yeah yeah for sure <laughs> okay okay so <laughs> but that that was the first three over here that was the first but trip. after that you move here, right? No, I mean, I wouldn't say, it's hard to say, like, so that was like 98 and 99, right? Mm -hmm. And then so every year, every summer, um, uh, probably since then, uh -huh. I've spent all of August all in, in, in Barcelona. <laughs> so I mean, what I did, so I worked for four and one, right? Yeah. So um, to, 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 to come to Europe, I had to, um, I had to always, I always film the contests. So there'd be like a, yeah, like, so you know, like, yeah, area. Dortmund, yeah. Uh, Munster first, and then Dortmund. So it'd be yeah. always like a contest in Germany. And then there was like, you know, Braga, there was like, a, um, you know, maybe one in England or whatever. So the, my whole deal was every summer I would do, all, do that, like do that contest circuit. Mm -hmm. And when it was done, go to Barcelona, mm -hmm. right? So it usually ended in like July and then all of August, probably some of September, I'd be in, in Barcelona and then just do other trips. And then. You know, so I wasn't, I never thought like I would live here. I was living here, but I was here always like at the end of the summer, you know, like always like uh, rent a place. Like a yeah. Yeah. I mean, but okay. yeah, but I guess if over Contest, the year, over 20 years, you, you yeah. feel, you feel like in home when you're here? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I do. So I do. Yeah. Where do you meet Javi here? So, so basically I was working for Powell uh, for one summer. I helped film a video mm -hmm. and, and Javi was a flow rider. Mm -hmm. He was, he was on Powell like Europe. Yeah. And we went to um, uh, Generation 97, so I guess that was 1997. It was a big contest in London, and, um, and it was like, I was with the Powell team, right? And then there's another, so that, you know, we're, the Powell team, we're there, right? They're skating the contest, right? Danny, Danny got like second place or something, like, you know, like, you know, it was like the whole crew. And then there was this one dude with a Powell board that nobody talked to, that nobody knew, that was ripping. ripping. And I was like, I was like, 
so wait, you, this is like Powell. Like, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? No, no, no. This is way before. Way before. Oh, yeah, way before. Way before. I, I was thinking yeah. that. Yeah. No, no, no. This is way before. This is 1987, right? So then I was like, I was like, who's this kid, dude? Like, he's ripping. And then like somebody was like, oh, um, yeah, that's like I don't know. He like writes for the distributor. He doesn't. He's not really on the team. He's not really on Powell. And I was like. I mean, well, that well, dude that's right? not really on Powell is like the best guy there. You know? like, he's, actually, he's actually like the best skater here. Um, so you know, I was like, fuck it. So like, you know, I filmed a bunch of some, some things with him that were, that were in 4 and one in the 4 and one New York video. And then um, he wrote for Stance. Um, um, yeah. and, uh, and the owner of Stance uh, was friends with um, yeah, Francisco Burgos, was good friends with Lance yeah. from like the, like the 80s, you know, wrote for Powell in the mm -hmm. 80s. And so, um, you know, like just through all that, like, you know, like, you know, I was like, dude, I, I want to film with this dude. Like this kid is really, really sick. Um, and like, you know, like, fuck, he should be on Powell, yeah. you know? So, so then that's kind of how we first met. And then when I went back to Europe the next year, um, you know, I, I, I skated with him and, you know, Javi didn't speak any English or <laughs> he actually did. But no, he would no, pretend he, he would there, pretend yeah. he didn't speak any English. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he's kind of like he's Hobby super hobby. Yeah. 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 Super hobby. But um, but it's super funny because it's like uh, I think we bonded over like you know like hip hop and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? And and like like I said, I was a filmer and he, he was like one of the best skaters I ever saw. So you know we started filming together and stuff. So um, long story short, like Javi was born in Barcelona, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but he but he never came to Barcelona. And I was like, when I started coming, I was like, you know, like I went to I would go up to Vitoria to skate with him. I'd be like, you should we should go to Barcelona. And he'd be like, nah. You know, <laughs> I'd be like, nah, I'm not really into Barcelona. Like I just want to skate here or whatever. You know, and I was like, all right. And then there was a contest. There was a skate contest here in Barcelona mm -hmm. in maybe 2000. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and uh, we were Spoko, yeah. So we yeah. So we had filmed some stuff in Victoria for his Wheels of Fortune, mm -hmm. and then um, he, you know it was it had done well, and and Foreman was like, yeah, we'd like to have a part in the best of. You know, we like, could you film a part? And I was like, yeah. So there's a there's a Spoko contest yeah. in uh, Plaza España. Yeah. Um. So uh. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get you know, a ticket to go to this contest. Mm -hmm. And like, so Javi, you have to come, you know, have to come to the contest. And after you come to the contest, we have to stay and try to film. And he didn't, he, so, he wasn't against it, but he was kind of like, okay, <laughs> cool, like whatever. No, but wait a minute. So yeah. you are the guy who brings Javier Samienza to Barcelona for the first time, is what I hear? No, I mean, like I said, Javi was born in Barcelona. So yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah. he so was the first time so in His, the, his in mom and dad were the people who came, who brought him to the Barcelona the first nice. time. Yeah. No, but so, yeah, it was like I was like, "Fuck, dude! Like, let, we'll get a hotel. Like, we'll you know, we'll stay longer." He brought his girl from from Victoria, so like you know, she came and like we just like he would chill with his girl every night, and we would just skate and film during the day. Okay. Um, and you know, so it's it, that was like a you know maybe so when he was talking in the um, in his interview like like a yeah, little while ago, and he was like, you know, the first time we went to to Magba. Um, you know, like nobody really skated there. Mm -hmm. So even that trip, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, like that trip, that that trip, we didn't skate Mach at all. Mm -hmm. Like we filmed at like um, uh, Parallel, uh, Sans, Uni, um, you know, a bunch of spots, um, but we didn't skate at Mach We didn't film at Mach It was only till like later after that. Um, I did a, I did a, I was like, you know, we have to go to Spain, we have to go to um, to to Barcelona to film. So I was working on the firm video. And there was the same thing. There was another contest, like another contest, and we and a bunch of people went. And so I brought the whole firm team, um, and then like Danny, Danny Wainwright came, um, Javi came. He didn't. He was writing for Powell. He didn't write for the firm yet. Um, like you know, a bunch of other homies, and like um, you know, we like we're gonna do the contest and do the same. Stay two weeks and have like a filming trip, and then that's when we really first started skating Magba. Um, so and then prior to that, like there was a, a S, there was a S trip for Manic Mahdi and like TX and like Kerry Getz and like uh, a bunch of guys had come. So, you know, I mean, people, they, even they skated Makba like, you know, around that time too, so. Pro model for a Spanish, yeah. Spanish board brand. Nomad. Filmer, filmer shaper. And it's like, the graphic is like a- Lance Mountain did the graphic, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, crazy, so, yeah. I mean, this is, it's a really simple story. So um, I always skated Raul, um, you know, like that was my, my homie. That's still my homie. That's my, my dude. Um, so one day we went to skate and Raul had a, had a little cruiser uh, board, you know, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's, that shape is dope, man. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we're going to make a cruiser. I was like, oh, like, dude, let, let me get one. I want one. He's like, he's like, you want one? Mm -hmm. He's like, you know, I was going to talk to you because I want to give you one. And I was like, yeah, man, like, I want one. Like, you know, like, give me one. Dame uno, you know. 
But I think he thought he what he was thinking. He wanted to give he wanted to give me a like a pro model. Yeah. But I thought I was like when I said I want one, I meant I want one. Well, like yeah, just want, <laughs> like one board, right? And then he's like he's like he got super hyped. He's like fuck, dude, I'm gonna talk to Yvonne and and we're gonna we're gonna hit he you up and like you know all this like, stuff. And I was like I was like yeah, man. I was like sounds good. It sounds like a lot of like work to you you know ask the owner of the company so he can have one board and then I understood like they're like would you want to do like a, a, a graphic and I was like yeah man for sure like you know I mean like Luipa skated for Nomad yeah. you know fucking like you know Julio, Julio skated for Lo yeah. for Nomad yeah. you know like the the team was it was like the the best the best skaters yeah. you know from here and and there were I mean dude we went to Sant and it was like a Nomad crew and even I was like I was like I was down you know mm -hmm. and then so I asked Lance I was like. I was like, yeah, you know, like my homies want to give me a board, and like, would you would you be down to do a graphic? And he's like, he's like, yeah, man, like, you know, we were really close, and he's like, yeah, like, you know, what do you want? And I was like, dude, I want to have like Barcelona. I want I want to have the Yankees versus um, uh, FC Barcelona. I want to have like a fucking graphic, like wow. the Yankees versus Barcelona, like baseball versus football. Like, you know, I had this whole idea, like, you know what I mean? Like Barca versus New York. You know Yo. what I mean? I'm from New York or whatever. Yeah. And then Lance was just like, okay. You know, like whatever. <laughs> and then the next day, he's like, "Well, um, I know we talked about this, you know, like football versus baseball, Barca, New York graphic." But he's like, "But I drew this, um, I, you know, like whatever." And he drew an ant. Like my name's Anthony, so he drew an ant, like a formiga, um, you know, carrying a camera and a skateboard, like with Barcelona backdrop. <laughs> and it was like it was super Lance, and it was super like his shit. And I was like, I was like, "Yeah, this is completely not what I was thinking." Well, but I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, "Fuck yeah. it, yeah." Yeah, and then and then Yvonne was actually super hyped, I think too. You know, because I mean, who wouldn't be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then again, I mean, like to me, that's like you know, like this, like Lance, like he drew, you know, drew like a cartoon for me, which means a lot more. And then I mean, I, I still I still love the Yankees. I mean, it's the best team. You know what I mean? And and I love I love Barca. So so I mean, I would love maybe one day I'll have that graphic. One day I don't know. You still keep one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a few. I have a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing is, I regret. I regret um, Lance because I was like, Lance didn't like have a signature on the graphic. You know what I mean? Which is like normal. I mean, when yeah. you do a graphic, you don't always sign it, but it would be cool to have. You know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure, it's like a lot of difference between the '98 Barcelona or I don't know yeah. '98 or 2001, 2002, whatever. Yeah. Like back in the days and now. What are the differences? Yeah, for you, like the peseta, the biggest, the biggest one. The <laughs> yeah, you mean, you now mean there's the a peseta? euro. Um, like about I me, mean, like I don't know, sports, people, uh, well, party. I don't know. Like, so this is a really weird time. Obviously, COVID. Yeah. Ten, like ten o'clock. You have to be home. Um, <laughs> the no restaurants are. You can you can't eat in the restaurants and stuff. You have to wear a mask and all that stuff. So yeah, that's really weird. I mean, you know, like. I'll contrast that with like I mean I remember coming here with like and so Javi and and the TX and Javi were like the dudes that I would come with and, and film a lot you know like we'd post up for like a month, but um you know how it was like those dudes would like they would they would they would party every night you know what I mean they would come home at six or seven um, you know I'd wake up you know I don't drink um, you know so I I'd, I'd be home by midnight or whatever um, you know I'd wake up at like I don't know eleven. Um, you know, like by 12, I mean, I go to the beach or something by 12, one o'clock, okay, I'm like, you know, calling them, messaging them. At two or three, I'm going to them, like knocking on the door. At four, I'm trying to get them out. <laughs> At five, we go get some food. At six, we start skating. At seven, we start filming. <laughs> At eight, it gets dark. So then you're like, you, 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 you know, it's, it was fucked, you know, and then, the, and then it started again, you know what I mean? And then so, you know, it's like, you know, it was, it was tough. So, you know, like, I mean, TX filmed a video part um, from, with an hour of light every day, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't recommend it, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but he can do it and he's like yeah. maybe one of the best. And Javi too, sure. like, you know, the thing is, you don't film with Javi, you just turn the camera on and you, you know, you just, yeah, you gotta, yeah. you gotta just be ready, like, yeah. so. You know, um, so it like happens that's, with Javi, it happens. Yeah, right? yeah, so, the, so there'd actually be kind of like sessions. There'd be actually like, like um, there'd be a, like uh, shifts. So there'd be dudes like uh, like somebody like maybe Montoya who'd be like you know kind of wake up early want someone to do something so like I'd go and maybe even go film at like like noon or like one with one like one crew whatever and then I that and then I'd go and meet up with Javi and TX like at four or five or six you know what I mean so it'd be like different things so they'd be like you know some kid from fucking Germany um, who wants to do jump down some fucking crazy rail and then you know obviously Javi and TX want to skate like maybe ledges or something like that so it would be. 
It'd be really cool. I mean, it'd be it'd be an interesting experience. So I, I would I would actually be in a whole bunch of different circles. You know what I mean? Like so, people from filming for one video, a completely different team brand filming for another video, even different spots and and different things. You're missing any spots from back in the days now? Yeah, I mean, I miss all kinds of spots. I, I miss the keyhole in Mapa. Actually, miss, uh, yeah, the old you know? parallel. Yeah, I miss yeah, the old parallel. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, just, I saw that they bought like a floor. Yeah, floor yeah. Clips from back in the days and. Same shit like now. It, it, crazy, it was right? crazy. Like I mean, he we met up. I met Flo at, at Parallel the other day. We went and um and he he started doing like a 360. Flip. He did a bunch of tricks. He yeah. did like 10 manual tricks. Mm -hmm. But he's trying to do. Like, he tried was starting to do 360 flip nose mani and then something out. And I didn't even say anything to him. But I was like I was tripping because I was like we had filmed we filmed like 20 tricks at Parallel. You know, like over the years. Yeah. And I remember he, he did like a tray flip nose mani like frontside 180 out. And um and he did like you know a, a very similar trick and to me that was really funny because it was like <laughs> 16 17 years later you know he hasn't missed a beat in, in fact it maybe he's gotten better you yeah. know what I mean um and so it was it's like a really kind of cool honest. like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah um well, but yeah I mean I don't I mean there's like there's like a like fuck there was a supermarket with like a hubba um uh, into a metal yeah, rail that's, that was like that's insane. In, mm, Sona Franca, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like um, Alex Castaneda switch fifty did. Um, it was just insane, and then um, four and one lost the tape. Um, yeah, so there's like things like that, like that you can't obviously can't go back to do the switch fifty <laughs> fucking twenty stair um, hubba. Um, you know, I don't know. Uh, I miss Sans actually is yeah. the most because it's now it's like insane. Yeah. It's like one table and a fucking DIY. Yeah. And I'm not gonna take away from it. Like it's cool people skate there or cool. whatever. Steel, but steel. if you knew Sans, yeah. um, that was the best. That was the yeah. the, the first before yeah. Mokba, It was Sans. And, you and there was came a crew. Out of the train, yeah, you came out of the train the and they're there like, and people like, were yeah. gripping and like right. like most amazing yeah. skaters. Like to me, it was the essence of Barcelona. There's a photo of like. Cab skating Magba, I mean, skating Sans in like the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. Um, yeah, yeah, doing yeah, yeah, a, a board yeah, yeah. So I miss, I miss, I miss Sans uh, yeah, the most, no. you know, like. Me too, yeah. me too. Yeah, yeah first real, of all, real being, real you know, being yeah. first time in Barcelona with Sans was skating. Yeah. Yeah. And I just don't, I, like, I, I mean, even like like behind Sans, you know, there was like, yeah, up, there was the, tons the, of shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you know, yeah. Well, yeah. What's the best trick for you? I don't mean like have to be the best trick, but. Um, the best trip for you ever filmed in Barcelona? So like, I mean, I, you know, I came for that one of the contests, and it was like it was uh, Arto's first time in Barcelona, mm -hmm. and um, and Arto was like on fire. He was filming for the flip <laughs> yeah, video, the and flip just video, he, and he just you, fucked but, everything yeah. up, man. And like, I mean, he you know, fakey flip and switch flip, um, uh, the yeah, four, the all black, yeah, all black, yeah, you know, like that was that was um, Beat you know, was like. Insane, like Best. Yeah, best, best fakey flip, flip ever. Game, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, still it is. Well, what, what? Okay, so the crazy thing about that is that we, he skated, we skated all the whole city one day. It was like super, super gnarly. Like skated all these spots, and then skated um, the four, and then um, it was like we were done. Like it was the end of the day. Um, it was already night, and we're like, you know, we're like, oh, let's go eat. So the whole like ten people, the whole crew, we went to a Chinese restaurant near Uni. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we ate, and then you know, it's like ten people. You eat whatever fucking done where we finish it's like 11 o'clock everyone's done right um like fucking done and um and so we're going back to the hotel but then i knew i wanted to show arto the street gap by catalonia yeah you know wow. and i was like i was like oh i was like let's go this way he's out of the way you know but i was like let's go check it out so, so yeah just just so you can see it you know and i was like i want to show you night. this this would be yeah good and then yeah. he's like fuck i want to skate it right now and i was like <laughs> this is fucked like where everyone is super like dead tired yeah, after like, what, you know? like 20 so yeah, no, no, he was younger than that. Younger yeah, he was younger. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he was like eighteen yeah. or something. And so, um, dude, he he battled a backside flip for a little bit, but he backside flipped it, and then and then everyone was like, "Damn, that's fucking nuts!" And then he's like, he's like, oh, "I got something else. I want to I want to try something else." And then he switched backside flipped it like in maybe three tries or four tries, super fast. Like, and it, like, but to me that was like maybe one of the best tricks because he had done a bunch of shit that day, and we were like kind of like done and had a big meal. And Do you remember yeah. that that spot too? Like was like a. The gap yeah, into the bank. The bank yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah I mean, yeah. he did like a uh, nolly flip and yeah. and uh, and fakey flip. Yeah. You know, I feel like was flip have a house like near here. Yeah. Yeah. There was like all the guys around mm -hmm. here. Well, that, so that was after that trip. So after that trip is when people were like, all those guys were like, "Fuck, we have to go to Barcelona. We have to do this. Like, we have to, you know, be here more and and, yeah. and everything." So it's crazy, it was cool, you know, man. Like yeah. That was like the, the genesis. Party, the, yeah. Was party was like a lot of bunch spot like. Yeah. 
I mean, maybe was prior to that, there was more Finnish girls in Barcelona than there were like <laughs> Finnish yeah. uh, dudes, like skaters. And then after that, it shifted. So, Anthony, yeah. so thank you so much for thank having you, man. Us, thank you, like, thank here, you, Pedro, for the pizza. Pizza for mm -hmm. us. So, thank you so much. Hope to see no you more, problem, man. more, no problem, more man. Problem. Yeah. Oh, thank, you, thank you, man. A pleasure. Okay. Uh, so this yes. was Pizza Nights. Yeah. Thank you, pizza. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. We'll be out soon. Check it out. Okay. That's it.